Uh, hello, this is me, Corporal Lock, again, doing my second tutorial in the series of how to make a game on UDK. So, first of all, let's reopen the map that we did last time. Uh, it was DM the first map. Open. Close, and so, here we are. Here is our map that we made last time, and what I'm going to show you this time is how to use CSG, which is over in this corner, and the red builder block. Okay, so builder block sets the parameters for how you're going to build the uh, the air, the CSG the, the CSG. Well, it's basically the matter of the game uh, used for ba basically used for buildings and such. So if you want to, we can now move our builder block. Uh, we'll move it to a location about here. Uh, here we are, and just move it down. Now. To be perfectly honest, I can't remember the exact dimensions of a player in UDK, but I know roughly how high it should be. Right. If you go down to the bottom right corner, you should see a place where it says 16. Now, if you click on the arrow, which says change drag grid, and put it to 32, that is the best for using CSG builder block. So, now what you want to do is you click on the these pads are here, you want to zoom out and find our builder block. Right, from my remembrance, I remember that if you do oh, if you press your middle mouse button and scroll down, you should get the measurement of the side of your area. So as you can see, the side of my square is 256. Now if I remember correctly, the player is around 90, 90 to 100 high, so this is easily high enough for the player. So, there are two ways you can make your building. There's an easy way, and there's the complex but it tells you how it works way. I'm going to do it the way that it tells you how it works. Okay, I don't, I don't want to have my building to be a complete square, so I'm going to go on to cube. I'm going to right click and it will bring up the properties of the cube. Now I'm going to change it to be x will be 512, uh, y will be the same, actually no let's make that, uh, let's make it 380 and we'll keep that how it is. Now to make it easier you can now skip this if you want. You could tick hollow and that creates a hollow building. But if you want to know how this actually works, don't skip along and I will uh, show you how uh, to make it without clicking hollow. And I'll, I will also put up the seconds, the, ha the, the time along the bottom, so you can, if you want to skip along I can show you how. Uh, you can click that button. Right. Okay, build. We've got our cube. And now you want to add matter to our giant void. So you want to go over to CSG and do CSG add. Now as you can see, we've got this here and the lighting has failed because there is no light on these sides. So what we want to do while editing with CSG is go to the top and click unlit. Now you've done that, you need to add your, you can go inside and see if there is no interior to your building. So, all you want to do uh, is you want to uh, right click on your cube again and you want to edit these so they're about 10 smaller so let's make it 502 570 5, 246 right and as you can see we've got this done don't change wall thickness that's only what you need to change if you want to change the thickness of the wall when you're in hollow but now we can just click build and close. So as you can see, we, our builder block is slightly smaller than the original uh, builder block that we've added matter to. So if we now do CS, uh, bleh, CSG subtract, we should now, that subtracts matter, and we should now have a room. So it's basically, you could put a player start in here and you would be perfectly fine and we'd be happy to play with it. But you need to make a door. Now, what's best to do is to just shrink the size of the sides. So, so if you right click, if you want to look 
which axes are what, look down into this corner of the viewport and it has X, Y and Z and they all tell the directions. So if you want to change the uh, width it would be changing X, so let's change that, uh, I don't know, to what's two thirds of that roughly, 200, let's change it to 200. Look at the next one, let's make it 150. 110. Uh, make it 150 would be better. So yeah, you've got that. We don't really need to change that, and you don't need to change that. I don't think. Yep. So actually, I think we have to change Z a little bit. So if we make it a little shorter, let's make it 4 240, and then build, close. We should now be able to just drag this along this axis and then all we have to do is click CSG subtract as you can see you've got a nice doorway into your building now we, now we can just drag away the CSG builder block and we can now start to manipulate the building so of course not all buildings as I said with the map are checkered and blue and white squares so we need to add textures to this what you need to do, you need to open, need to open your content browser. Uh, you need to navigate to uh, material instances, and I think you can use textures. Um, I don't want to make the same mistake as I did last time. Um, but if you want to scroll down and find one, maybe under building, here we are, and we can choose something like. Uh, Ah, let's choose this texture. Hopefully, we'll be able to use it. And then, what you do, you want to select your wall. I'll select the outer wall, and then, so you can see it's highlighted. You right-click, apply material. Obviously, it hasn't registered the material. So, what I'll do, I won't make the same mistake. Is uh, I'll create new material. Okay, that should show us where it's made it. Right, open it using the material editor. Connect alpha to diffuse, uh, green tick, close. Now um, I'm going to just uh, fully load it and save it because, as you may have seen with uh, my previous tutorial when we were doing, oh dear. I know. Uh, as we were doing the map, I forgot to save, and it completely messed up the thing. So, apply material, and there you have it. You've got your wall material. Now you can either change your material uh, to different shades of the same one and such, but I'm just going to use the same material for all the outside of the building. You may, may want something like uh, corrugated iron for the roof, but just for purposes of the demonstration I'll do this and just apply material apply material apply material uh, apply material apply material apply material and then so you don't get bugs you want to just select that apply material apply material this is one reason why you don't want your walls to be too thin. One, they can't look realistic. And two, it's hard, it's tricky to get all these materials in the right places. So do a quick bug check, make sure everything is covered. And then it should be. Um, you might want to add maybe a slightly different material. I don't know. I know if we... Uh, yeah, uh, I'll use this material actually for the inside. So remember to save that material. I've learned that now, and then select it. Apply material. Apply material. Apply material. Oh. Apply material. And apply material. I won't do these little in bits because I haven't got really got the time. So you should then have your building. So yeah, you have done. But as we saw before. Virus now close. 
if you go to the lit, uh, unlit mode, all is dark. So we're going to come across a new item, if you haven't already seen it before, called uh, Light Point. So all you have to do is right click, add actor, add light, point. So this is just light, and it's from a point. And if you actually go into there, you can see that shadows are cast all over, and they're not covering this whole area. So I'm just going to put one over here. Auto save for me. Um, put one there. I'll just uh, yeah, and then I'll put another one here. Add actor, add light points. Raise it up a bit, and I'll put a light in here. Add actor, add light points. Just put up there. So there you have your room, your building on your map. Right as before. I say always save the map and just save it as normal as it was before DM first map save yes but for you you can just do save because I couldn't remember if I'd saved it as this okay and now I should be able to play the game uh, there might crash because I've got steam running as well but hopefully I won't if I press play in viewport so let's see if it works here we are so as it's just told me Lighting needs to be rebuilt. So if I exit, build lighting, unsick light mass, that's important. Okay. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. All right, done. Close. And then click play. As you can see, here's the map. And here we have our building. Okay, so this isn't the only use for uh, CSG. It can be used for other things as, as if, uh, as like uh, adding water or adding importance volume, light importance volume, as I will come across at a later time. And, um, yeah, so you can use ECSD for a lot of things, uh, more of which I'll come into at a later date in more detail. Um, but, yes, for main, uh, mainly for urban areas, you're going to use CSG for building. You can edit the blocks as much as you want. As you can see down the left side, there are many different types of brushes, such as cone, stair, cylinder, plane, sphere, and cube, and walls. And uh, you can just use them to make your environment different in whatever way you need. Uh, I hope you understand how to use CSG and the associated stuff. Um, and uh, also remember that. If you don't want to go through all this time of making a smaller cube, you can just click hollow in the um, uh, build the brush editor and that will do this all for you. But it won't make a door, so you'll have to do that as I showed you for the door. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and please, please uh, comment, rate and subscribe. Uh, it'll be really useful. Okay, and thank you very much and I'm glad you're watching this uh, series. Goodbye.